Well, hey guys, how are you doing today? So, um, I got an amazing message from Jesus last night, and this is probably my favorite one. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, wow, just, it was powerful. Let's just say that, very powerful. And um, I got it before, um, probably around 8 or 9 o'clock, and then I didn't finish it until probably 11 you know he kept giving me like bits and pieces um it kind of started earlier in the afternoon when I was at dinner came over me he likes to come over me at like different odd times <laughs> I don't know maybe it's his sense of humor but anyway um so I claim that Jesus Christ is the son of God he's God he came to earth in the flesh he bled on the cross and died for us and he rose on the third day um ignore the people on YouTube that are trying to pretend to be me writing long paragraphs and trying to get you to donate to an orphanage because they're scammers, so don't fall for it. Um, okay, so let's get on with the message. Um, June 14, 2023 is when I received it. Today is June 15, 2023. I'm still at my mom's, so it's like I'm trying to find a spot. People keep coming in. Um, okay, first he gave me Colossians 1.11. Strengthen with all might according to his glorious power for all patience and long suffering with joy. First Corinthians two nine. But as it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. Okay. John two eleven. The beginning of signs Jesus did in Cana of Galilee and manifested his glory, and his disciples believed in him. Leviticus 4.7 But the bull's hide and all its flesh, with its head and legs, its entrails and offal, which is really interesting because Jess said that there is signs in the heaven with the bull, and that's the next event after the rapture. It's judgment. <sighs> okay. Um... Leviticus 4 7. Or no, I just said that one. Psalm 119 2. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with the whole heart. See, it's all about the heart, guys. It's all about, you know, believing in Jesus and your faith in him, and he will save you. Jeremiah 1 8. Do not be afraid of their faces, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. I think that's going to be because he confirmed some things. And probably people are going to scoff and mock after this. But hey, I'm just being obedient to Jesus. Take everything to Jesus. Um, I never ask you to uh, say anything except for pray to Jesus and ask him. Okay, um, Matthew 26, 7. A woman came to him having an alabaster flask, a very costly fragrant oil, and she poured it on his head as he sat at the table. Now, that was right before, you know, um, his, his dying on the cross and stuff and resurrection. So I thought that was very interesting that he gave me that scripture. Um, Mark 1, 8. Oh, no, I'm sorry. James 2, 5. Listen, my beloved brethren, has God not chosen the poor of this world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom which he promised to those who love him? Mark 1, 8, I indeed baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Ezekiel 21, 3, and say to the land of Israel, thus says the Lord, behold, I am against you, and I will draw my sword out of its sheath and cut off both righteous and wicked from you. I thought that was very interesting too, because cut off the righteous from the, the wicked. Hey, babe. No, you're fine. I can pause it. I'll be back. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. I had to help my husband with something. Um, so I left off on um, Hebrews 4, 9. There remains, therefore, a rest for the people of God. Okay, and here's the message. My child, wake up. Drones are coming. Fighter jets are going to be circling the air. They are part of the delusion. They are going to shoot the drone out of the sky. They are going to call it alien abduction, a stage event to take focus from my glory. The haze is going to cover the moon. You will see a smiley face. That's interesting because I had a dream. There was a moon with the two dots, and it looked like a smiley face, and then Jess had the same dream. 
you will see another moon bigger, brighter, and redder. You will see a third, a half crescent moon with a rainbow around it. You will see my glory. Stop mocking my dates. How long did I take to split the Red Sea? I can create all things and make all things happen in a blink of an eye. Do not limit my power. Oh, you little faith, I told you no more tarry. The enemy is preparing for my arrival in the clouds. This is why they have their satellite phones. Once my people are taken, the satellites will no longer be blocked. My people are gone. My spirit is gone. Darkness will fall and Obama rises. Obama is the Antichrist. And it goes back to Pharaoh and Egypt. I told you my clock will stop. Do you know what that means? That means time will no longer exist in the heavens. My stars fall and the moon will turn black. Find that. It's in my word. See what happens after. When the net, get pull, when the net gets pulled out of the water, you will see the lights. The angels will gather my elect from all four corners. You will see lightning strikes. You will see my glory. When you see these things, believe in me, confess I am Lord, and if I am truly in your heart, I will save you. I am a God of order, and my word is true. Seventeen glorifies me. It's also my victory. There is no hidden meaning this time. No more delay. At 3 p.m., you will see the wind pick up. You will see trees fall. Lightning will strike the clock tower in Czechoslovakia. Okay, this is crazy. So I heard this in my head, like the thought popped in my head. So I started Googling it, and there is like an astronomer clock from like 1419, the oldest clock in the world. Guys, I'm telling you, I'm not making this stuff up. This literally pops into my head. I get stuff like this and then I look it up and I am blown away. So I don't know, but lightning's supposed to strike that. You will know if you have my spirit, you will feel a gravitational pull towards heaven. I told you I was opening up the heavens and you will feel perfect peace, a wave of supernatural peace. Green and red skies with rainbows and aurora lights will be beautiful but very ominous. I told you I am catching up my bride and I am coming on the ninth hour. Are you awake yet? Are you ready for my arrival? Do not be a foolish virgin, but be a wise virgin. Learn my true gospel. Learn my good news. Do not overcomplicate what I'm trying to say. I am the good shepherd. I am your teacher. Are you listening to my teachings? If you have been paying attention to my anointed ones, I have revealed my true calendar, the Maseroth. They know when the ninth hour ends. When it ends, I take my bride. It's not too late to believe in me. Confess your sins and come to me with repentance. I will save you. To my false believers, you have spoke my words. You know my scriptures, but you rely on your own works to save you. I died for you and shed my blood on the cross for you. Only I can save you. Put down your pride and pick up my cross and follow me. Love me and love your neighbor. Stop scoffing. Okay, so I'm going to go to part two. Okay, guys. Um, believe in Jesus Christ with all your heart and confess he's Lord and he will save you. God bless.